previously on Kingdom Corn. It was Gel Blaster Time Nerf Style with this pistol gel blaster called the Legion Gel Fire. We had a blast of a time with this blaster. You guys can check out the video for all the good details. But will this blaster be first on the list? Because we have got a forerunner. The Nerf Rival is back again with this cool blaster. We're gonna unbox this. It is Kingdom Time. Let's it do is it. It's a miracle to be here today. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Kingdom Corn. Now officially lit. What's going on? It is a great, beautiful day, and I'm so glad that you guys get to join me. I'm going to be unboxing the Nerf Rival 4 Runner 1200. This is another blaster in the Nerf Rival Accu series, which means it is based and focused fully on accuracy. The other blasters I was thoroughly impressed with for the most and with part. this being a pump action blaster, hopefully this thing gives us all the fight that we're looking for and it does not let us down. All right guys, here it is. Wow. Yeah, we got the Nerf Rival. Take, what's this called? Nerf Rival 4Runner. This blaster right here, I guess maybe they called it the 4Runner simply because this thing is the very first of the year 2023 so we're gonna hopefully see if this lives up to being rivals first blaster of the year will it set the tone and standard for the rest to come and gosh i would love to know what is to come i love this rival line and i'll let you guys know that some of the absolute best of all time blasters in the whole nerf universe it comes from this same series the rival line i'm not going to make any names because i just might make a whole video on it so you guys gotta just stay tuned and look out if for you that. guys haven't <laughs> already and you like my channel into all these cool nerf guns all these cool toys then you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button let everybody know that you are part of the kingdom without you guys it is not lit in here but since you guys are here right now i am going to go ahead and get into all the details of this cool blaster you guys can see this has a cool gloss finish it has the same paint scheme the same look of all the other blasters in this accu strike round line if that is what they're called they are focused on accuracy so instead of the regular rival balls they come with these blue ones they have these hexagonal ridges in them i don't know if that makes it more accurate but one thing that i can say this here the nerf rival fate was among in my top list of the 2022 um top blasters because of the accuracy the way that this shoots so perfectly and straight so i don't know if it's the blaster or the rounds but we're going to see today if this blaster holds up to one of the top blasters of 2022 you guys can go ahead on my channel and check out that list i don't know the exact number on the list but you guys tell me after you check out the video now <laughs> back to this blaster this prime i like how rival blasters their prime isn't too hard yet. It shoots just as good as some of the crazier, more heavy dart blasters. That is a really good thing because even um, a younger person can actually prime this without having too much trouble. I don't know about little kids. This is geared toward older, more mature audiences, mature kids. <laughs> Now, let's check out the accuracy since that's what this is about. Right here, you can see the special sight. And one thing that I am noticing about this AccuSeries rival line is that each of these blasters, they all have a different sighting system back here. This system is different from the Nerf Rival Fate that I just showed you. And that system is different from the other two blasters in the same line. So that is a pretty awesome thing. I definitely noticed that and I think that's a pretty creative choice to have a different type of sight for every single blaster on this line. That gives all these a unique feel and a unique feeling to each one, whether you like the dynamics or not. That feature right there is gonna set one blaster apart 
from the rest regardless. Now, as far as that feature goes, I noticed this yellow part right here. You can see a little knob, and that enables you to grab it and push it forward or bring it right back. And as you do that, you may notice this thing here is moving and adjusting according to the way that you decide to move this knob. So that way you can look through this little green neon sight and you don't have to just keep it in one spot, but you can adjust the positioning as you have need to give you way more accurate line of sight so that when you're out there on the field, you definitely have the edge and upper hand against someone with a more typical nerf blaster with one of those basic sights, you know, the ones that are built into it and it comes up and that's all you get. Well, this definitely uh, will put that to shame. Now, as far as loading this blaster, just like the takedown and the Saturn, all you have to do is climb it back and a hole opens up. Also, this is just like the Rival Series usually do it because the Kronos, which is one of the coolest, best little pistol blasts of all time, also uses the same system, except hopefully this holds more ammo. I'm not quite sure from the box if it said how many that it holds, but we're gonna go ahead and how about we go ahead and count that right now. Four, five, six. Oh, we gotta get some more. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think this has the Saturn beat. Twelve. Wow. Some of the other features right here is the little jam button. If this thing jam, you press this button and you'll be able to um, unblock it. And there is a safety switch as well. Make sure the kids don't shoot nobody eye out with here. Whoa, crap, you know, just like that. Now, there's not much else for this blaster. What you see here is what you get, except now we're gonna go ahead and test this performance out. That is the fun and good part. So how about so, we not waste too much time? We got that target behind us. Nerf Rival Forerunner. Let's take it to the kingdom. That one flew anywhere. Ah, uh, it's so straight. Some of them fly out to the side though. Yet straight. Woo! So nice, it just flies, just cruises through the sky. Gosh, y'all. For you guys, but I've got to do one more. Let's do it. <laughs> all right all right i can tell you guys i think that main feature to that blaster would be just the grip i really have problems stopping shooting i had a lot of problems putting the blaster down after i got warmed up to it once that blaster is in your hands and you just laying off around without hiccups without any jams I tell you, you get into a zone with that blaster and it's easy to just really just get stuck there. You don't want to leave or put the blaster down for nothing. And on that note, how did the firing go? Um, it's actually a really kind of interesting type of concept because although these rounds, they do fly in a straight fashion, they don't actually go straight. And that is a awkward type of thing. For me, it reminds me of if you are throwing a softball, you're gonna throw the softball super hard in in one direction, but it's not gonna actually go in the straight, clear trajectory along that path. It may curve, it may go upward. So it's going to get to its destination. It's just not gonna get there in a straight, direct path. Now, as for the visuals on that blaster, I would give it a 3.5 for the visual. It is a decent looking blaster. It's nothing too crazy, nothing that is gonna really make your eyes pop out. And as for the ergonomics to the blaster, it is very amazing. Guys, I don't know why, but I just had a lot of trouble with the blaster. Putting it back down once I got into the zone. 
for the ergonomics and the way that this blaster is held. I want to give that a perfect 4.9. Yeah, I kind of had to leave a little bit of room there for more, but I tell you guys, that thing holds really good. Lastly, for the performance on this blaster, it doesn't quite do exactly what it says that it does to be focused on the actual um, accuracy. I had a hard time making shots even from close up. There are way more accurate blasters out there in the uh, field. So as far as performance goes, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a four. A four because I do like the blaster. So really this blaster's main feature is actually the ergonomics behind it because it is so smooth and there were no hiccups. And I tell you guys, that's all really a blast to me sometimes as, as it shoots decently enough. And guys, I had a blast with that cool blaster. I hope you guys had a blast here watching my video, whatever you got going on, hopefully watching this kind of made things even a little bit better. Now, before <laughs> we go, we have to always keep in mind that anything is possible if you believe. Yeah, and I am gonna believe today that everything's gonna continue to be great. Thank you guys so much for getting here, watching to the end of my video. If you have not already hit that subscribe button so that I can see you guys on my next cool video. This is Kingdom Corn. Until next Peace time, off. we are out of here. <laughs>